reminder, this little note sheet is on Google Classroom. Please do not ignore it, okay? It's some good numbers on here, some things that you're going to need. Number one, the one inch to 25.4 millimeters. That's the conversion, all right? So when you go to space your drawing between, like one inch between each other, 25 is close enough. You, you don't have to um, put that 0.4 on there. When we convert like our um, eighth of an inch of an eighth of an inch to how many millimeters is that? You take the eighth of an inch, multiply it by 25.4, you get 3.175. We're going to drop off the 1375 and we're just going to extend the center lines past the object three millimeters. Okay, so that's a number you're going to need to remember. Um, the three here and 25 here. And that's going to help set up the rest of your drawing. All of the other numbers are going to be, you know, coming from your problem in the textbook. Um, when we go to do our, add our new custom scale, we're going to be using this right here. And this is also written on the board, so you can look at the board. Um, just a reminder, double-clicking the scroll button allows you to zoom extents. Okay, so check this out if you, if you need to, um, so we can talk about this. Now, yesterday, I talked about changing the LT scale on this, but then today, we went to set it up in the paper, and we realized that um, the, the LT scale really needs to be closer to um, our standard numbers. That's the 0.25 LT scale, and this is 0.5, so it looks like 0.25 is going to work out for this, okay? So, erase from your memory yesterday where I told you to make it like 6 and 12, okay? We won't need that at the very end. If you want to see your center lines appear while you're drawing, then you can put the LT scale um, at something higher. But when you go to set up for printing, you're going to have to go back down to, um, go back down to like the 0.5 or 0.25 in order to get that to work out. So for the purpose of like, right now so you can make sure you can see the center lines. I'm going to go back here and put it, the LT scale to 6 so we can see it. Um, real quick, real quick review on your center lines. Your center lines have to go out past the extent of the largest circle. So here I drew a, a center line from top to bottom and um, what I'm going to do is just pick on the blue grip and then just drag up, type in 3 and hit enter. If you drag and you type in point one, two, five, like we are using on an imperial drawing, you won't see but a teeny little line sticking out. So um, that's why we're going to use three because that's more that's proportional to the drawing. Now, a, a review if you don't like picking on that line, the grip and um, and uh, like dragging and typing in the text, you can also offset by three. And then you can just draw one line from one side to the other and that, and then erase the line that you offset. That is another way of, of getting those center lines drawn the correct way. All right, so notice that there's a hole in the middle. This, the center line goes only out three millimeters on the inside hole, but it does go out three millimeters on the outside hole. So your center line should appear like this. It does have to go to the outer circle, and that's the, the 25 radius. All right, so after you get this done, we'll pretend like I have the right side view and the top view drawn, and I'm now ready to go and set this up in my uh, title block. So right there, you notice that I, ha I had zoomed in. I can just double click my scroll button and zoom extents. And chances are you might be really zoomed in, like you might just see like a line or two when you go to um, the model space. Double click your scroll button. And that's going to bring out your, it should bring your three views. This part is really just like almost two inches. It's like 1.96 something, okay? So it's really about two inches in height. So it should fit on your screen. We need to modify the scale, okay? So we're going to go over here. Um, if this were one-to-one -one scale, you, you know, like your old drawings or your imperial drawings, you just click on one-to-one. And it's to scale, but, you know, we've, we've already established that we are drawing this with our metric units, so the metric scale is not going to work. So we've got to create a metric scale for this drawing. 
Um, these other scales here are for architecture. So you can see like one inch is equal to one foot. I'm sorry, where? One inch is equal to one foot, half inch equal to a foot, or even like a sixteenth of an inch is equal to a foot. So those are not the scales that we need for this type of mechanical drawing. So we're going to click on this custom button right here, and we're going to add a scale. We're going to type in the point zero three nine three seven equals one, and then repeat those numbers down here. Okay, one over on the other side. Hit OK and hit OK. And now, watch what happens when we go to the down arrow. We now have a new scale added in our list. So I can now click on this one, and it's going to get this part um, scaled one inch or, um, uh, to the imperial size that would be normal for us to view. So double click, double click on the outside of your uh, viewport to go back to paper space or don't forget you use this button right here to toggle back and forth. So in paper space this part's going to be called a pivot block. Um, I'll let you fix the drawing number. We're going to leave the scale one to one right here but we're going to add a little piece of text. Um, eighth of an inch tall. Write the word in caps. Metric. Oop, wrong layer. Draw us a nice little rectangle. I'm going to put this on title block lettering. Draw a little rectangle around this to signify that this is a metric drawing. And keep that guy over here in the lower right hand corner of your drawing. Probably above that would be nice. So that's what your drawing is going to look like at the end. Um, pivot block, scales one to one, fix the drawing number, and write the word metric. And Finish up your right side view and your top view. Okay?